Yo, Philly 254 living life. Back at it. Now I have yet another Decky plugin that I think will, you will find useful for any Steam Deck owner. And it's called Storage Cleaner. So what does it do? It's pretty simple. It's, in, it's all in the name. It helps you manage your storage on your Steam Deck. Specifically, that shader cache. Now for anyone, this is best, especially useful for anyone who's using the 64 gig Steam Deck and kind of working off the, the actual SD card or whatnot. But I think it's be pretty useful for any, any Steam Deck version that you may have. You may have a game that you may not want to download, I'm sorry, you may not want to play or may haven't played in a while, but you're not quite ready to delete it or whatever. At least, at the very least, you can get rid of that shader cache. Save some space, save some space. And the whole thing about shader cache is it downloads for every game that you decide to play on your Steam Deck. You actually play on your Steam Deck and it just makes things much smoother, quicker and, and whatnot. But if you're not playing a certain game very often, well, you may not need that shader cache. I wouldn't recommend this on something you play every day. That's dumb. It'll take forever. You'll, it'll, it'll just kind of lengthen the process of playing your own, playing your favorite game or whatever. But if it's a game you don't play very often, yeah, save, save some little space. And of course, like I said, if you have the 64 gig Steam Deck, it's definitely, definitely useful because that thing eats through that space real fast. So how do we do this? Oh, and by the way, the shader cache is perfectly fine to delete. It is, it's just going to rebuild the next time you launch the game, so it's perfectly okay. It has another um, compatibility settings, or uh, yeah, I think it's compatibility settings, uh, deletion or whatnot, compatibility saves or whatever. Um, we'll discuss that too, so let's get into it real fast. So as always, you want to press that little quick settings button on your Steam Deck, go down to the, to the plugin button at the very bottom, go up to the Decky store after you hit that plugin. And again, you can search for it or you can just browse for it. I just always browse. There's not that not a lot going on in there. And you can look in for storage cleaner. You go and click install. Obviously, I haven't installed, so I'm not gonna click install myself. Once it's installed, it only takes a couple seconds and then you're there. You're gonna go back in there, you're gonna see it in your little Decky's menu there. So the first thing you can see a list of games. And then first the first setting here is the, the shader cache. Like I said. It's perfectly fine to delete these whenever you need to. Just you don't want to delete the ones games you play often because obviously, you know, it'll take longer to launch the game. Um, it has a list of all your games plus a non-Steam games. You can choose whatever one you want to delete. Underneath all those all those listings, there's gonna be another setting. Oh, you can also choose to delete all of them if you want. But by the way, FYI. But underneath that, there's gonna be another setting. You can see where it says compatibility data. That's what I was thinking about earlier. So again, that will rebuild, but just keep in mind that some game saves, some cloud game saves are saved in that area, so it could, you could lose those. I'm not really gonna mess with that myself, but it is there and it has the same options. It shows the list of Steam games, followed by the non-Steam games. You can click and choose whichever ones you want, or you can just delete all of them all, all at once. For this example, I'm gonna delete one myself. Uh, we're gonna choose Guilty Gear Strive. So all I'm gonna do is click on Guilty Gear Strive, and then I'm just gonna go on down and just choose the delete the um, clear the selected games, and you're done. Just that simple, not difficult at all. Now, is this useful? Yes, just like I said earlier. Especially you have the lower hard drive or the smaller hard drive versions of the Steam Deck, like the 64 gig one. Extremely useful. When I had my 64, well, I still have my 64 gig one, but when I only had my 64 gig, when I have a larger one now, um, the shader cache was killing all my space. So something like this would have been pretty cool back then. I don't think I don't know if it existed then or if it, whether or not it did, but it's cool now. It's, it's here now, right? So we're here. But it's definitely useful. And as always, at the end of the video, I'll show up a little. I'll throw up a little video discussion how to actually get the, the Decky loader installed in the first place, so you can get all these different plugins. And as always, if you like more Steam Deck news, walkthroughs, tutorials, lives, gameplay, like and subscribe. Cruise through the playlist. And I'm out.